What is autologous NK cell therapy? Uh, well, it's a uh, product or uh, cells that were discovered in, in, at KI, at Karinsky Institute, and the tradition is to do research on that. One of my uh, lab uh, buddies, uh, Evren Aliti, he, he discovered a way to, to expand them. So instead of having one cell per hundred, he expanded them thousandfolds by just culturing them in three weeks. He asked me, uh, both him and Professor Gusta uh, Gatton, uh, to, to write a protocol to treat myeloma patients uh, on that. And we uh, performed the phase one study. Uh, it's five years now. And, and uh, it was an, um, not an effect study. It's not efficacy study. It was a safety study. And we could uh, see that all patients that was treated had some response. So we're expanding the idea and doing a a phase two study uh, in combination with the anti-CD38 antibody as maintenance treatment after autologous uh, bone marrow transplantation. We usually collect them at diagnosis when the patient gets his, uh, his or her diagnosis, myeloma. Uh, we ask them to donate to themselves one unit of blood. And from that unit of blood, we isolate the anchor cells and culture them and freeze them down. Until, it, as it is today, it, it is in clinical trial, but hopefully in the future we can, you can donate your cells. Even the idea could be that you, uh, as a patient, can donate one unit of blood to your cells. You can isolate the anchor cells, culture them, you can isolate the T cells, and freeze them down. We have evidence that these cells can stay in the freeze 20 years.